strategic themes in Chessbase 18. You can search for strategic themes now. Just click on any database and hit Control F for find or right click search. I prefer keyboard shortcuts, saves a lot of time. And Control F opens the trusty search mask of Chessbase. And there's a new tab here, the strategy tab. Click on it, and you can see there are strategic themes divided into three columns, structure, pieces, and plans. In addition, you can specify results for the theme and colors, should this only happen for white, only for black, or for both colors. We start with a structure theme, and uh, let's have a look at games with space advantage for white, and white should uh, keep the upper hand after this theme. And let's start this search in the World Championship database. Takes a few seconds. And here we have the search result. There is an interesting new column. It gets added whenever uh, you do such a strategic theme search. If you don't see it, right click on the columns and uh, say uh, and, and uh, select show theme strength which is usually at the bottom here we optimize the column width and we have a look at this number it's an arbitrary number it has no meaning at all it has the only meaning to sort the games by the strength of the strategic theme in the game because the theme can be more or less significant and every theme has a little evaluation function um, expressing the strengths of it. Okay, we searched for Space Advantage. Uh, maybe we can uh, look at this historic game here. And uh, I think the, the board position, Chessbase automatically jumps to this classification position. And the board position, I think, uh, satisfies this condition. Space Advantage for white, and the result also is advantages for white in the end. Whenever you load such a game resulting, no, for every game you load, you can do this little red square quick annotation, which maybe some of you are already familiar with from Chessbase 17. It detects sacrifices in the game and inserts diagrams, interesting positions. And in Chessbase 18, it has been enhanced by annotating the game with all significant strategic themes the program finds in this game. And the power of the feature is that it is answers without delay. It's no longer an analysis. And then you can see now a lot of different um, strategical little annotations here. And um, we are here at King G8. We had this space advantage for wide the position we had before. But there are also other um, annotations. We start here with closed position. Obviously, the position is closed, and the black bishop is bad. After 27, C takes B, we have queenside play, sure. We have weak pawns, black, backward, and, and isolated. We have a passed pawn for white. This is the trivial space advantage you already know. And here the program tells us that C5 is a strong square. E5 also, I think. <laughs> It would detect and evaluate both of them. OK, let's have another strategic theme. Again, I call up my search mask here. And I reset the search mask. And let's look for strong rooks. And not only black strong rooks, but still they should be good for black. Search again. few seconds, search result gets sorted by strength. And we click on the first sample. And uh, OK, I think we can agree that those rocks are not so weak. Let's have maybe uh, another sample here, Laska Tarash. Two rocks on the second, also quite fine. Let's just, for the sake of demonstration, do our little red square annotation. And again, we have all those little 
strategic annotations, which we already saw during the last game. Strong square wide, e5 is strong square. Also f6 a bit. And here we have weak pawns of black, but that's a bit more trivial. And this were our strong rooks. Say, okay, I think that would be enough to get the gist of the function. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.